Hello everyone. Hope you all are doing good. Today we are going to talk about which all drive test centers you should avoid to give your G2 or G exam. Let's get started. Even though you have good driving skills or you have done a lot of practice, still there could be many many external reasons that could influence your drive test results. In this video, we are going to talk about few of those external factors as well as which all drive test centers you should avoid. So, few external factors are, let's assume that you have to accelerate from 30 to 100 kilometers per hour within 200 meters. There may be a possibility that you are not able to accelerate to that speed within such a short distance or by the time you accelerate your car, there is too much traffic. And you are not able to merge and you may have to brake. Second reason may be that there is too much traffic already in the area where you are giving your drive test. So you may be forced to make some mistake. For example, you are standing in the middle of the intersection to take a left turn. But when the light turns yellow, the traffic that is coming from the front is not stopping. So you will have to wait for them and then you have to clear the intersection. By the time there is a possibility that pedestrian light from other side goes green and they may start moving. So what will you do at that point of time? So there could be many external factors that are out of your control which could be avoided by choosing a more appropriate or a choosing a drive test center which has a high pass percentage. The first drive test center which I am going to talk about is Etobicoke. Etobicoke has almost 50% fail rate for both G2 and G drive test. The second and third in my list are Downsview and Brampton. They also have similar fail rate because of many external factors people are not able to clear the exam even though they have good driving skills. The next two driving test centers that I'm going to talk about are Oakville and Port Union. They also have a fail rate of 45 to 47%. So in my opinion, you should also avoid going to that drive test centers. I hope this video is helpful for you. Please subscribe to my channel and also like my video. Keep watching. Thank you.